All right, let's go for another session then. A couple last turns, I finished the war, so to speak, with the Barbarian. I took a bunch of cities, but then decided to piece them for a simple reason that I have my attention turned elsewhere, specifically on way in the game. We're attacking the uh, stuff in the Outer Plains in one section, and then another section where we're basically with uh, the Barbarian, there's like a bunch of fire elementals in our stuff above. And I actually thought about a strategy to deal with them in between the break. So we will do that. So we got apparently Resurrect here. Restores one fallen unit back to life with full health. Very nice. Life weapon enchant. Incinerate. We get that for now, I guess. Fire a little bit of that. A little bit more damage to him. So here's the plan I sort of had. Basically, the big issue here is that I've got basically Swampland here, and there's like a whole lot of like water space around. A way I'm thinking about getting around that, so to speak, simply, for the most part, I just plan to um, raise the land, more or less. I'm just going to move these pelons over here. I'm going to explore what's going on over here, perhaps, a little bit with these guys. Yes, my lord. Some of you guys over here a little bit. Huh? Now, dwarves. It's too bad they don't have the resistances to magic that they used to. In older games, dwarves had more magic resistance, and it was quite nice. But oh well. Heal those guys up a little bit. We'll build a few structures. Yes, yes, uh, lots of building structures. I haven't really talked about, but it's actually a sequel to this game, Warlock 2. The Exiled. And something to know about The Exiled is that um, in that game, they essentially changed up a lot of the mechanics so that, you know, some stuff like, you know, multiple cities being managed was not as, like, you know, prevalent and as much of an issue. Oh, cool, I get the Elven Shooting Grounds over here now. Look at that, why not? Why not? Over here, what we're going to do. Basically, you have uh, this section more or less under control. It's just a matter of t killing everything. Someone in need. I want you to attack them. <laughs> Eliminate them. Wolves yes, Wolves of Helia, that's what you are. We'll send them around to just look around a little bit. Apparently got another... Ooh, a gold dragon! So, Supreme Flying Fighter! That sounds deadly. They've got... Uh, Millennium Life Magic Attack. That'll be uh, not very nice for these guys, because... Well, they don't exactly have, uh, you know, immunity to life or melee. Gold dragons! Now, where was I before I was interrupted by the obscene drawing on the board? Ah, yes, gold dragons. Like the aforementioned red dragons, they arrive from our world, but adapt themselves to um, this one ultimately spread out over all during Ania. Gold dragons are more intelligent and um, better educated than their red variety. Among their species, one may find plenty of philosophers, poets, and brilliant scientists. For this reason, it is not wise to regard red dragons solely as mighty warrior beasts, a point of view sadly but widely held by our thick head military. So yes, they're very, very strong. And he's sitting on top of gold dragon eggs. Interesting. That sounds like a very rare, rare thing. Alright, I got the mage here. I think first thing first, we're going to try and get some of these guys into 
action. Let's just knock those guys away for a moment. And these guys here is going to heal up, I think, a little bit more, so we'll let them do so. I'll move these guys closer to finish off them. Can pathfinder so they can run around a little bit easier. Send these guys over here to maybe back up those guys a little bit in a moment. The Paladins of Doros have made their entry into the world. Let's just bump these guys up a little bit in power because they'll be, you know, not stuff I want to have die, so. Boost up their capabilities. So we'll send them over this way for now. And you will make your way over here, my cellar unit, to settle over on that holy ground. And these ghosts. I don't want to be sending them toward those guys, so. Heck on, we'll send them over here and let them sit there. They do have some elemental magic resistance, these guys, so I'm tempted just to bump them up a little bit in resistance and such and send them on their way over to this guy. Apparently I lost the Summer Knights, by the way, so they died. Probably to these, you know, barrages from these guys over here. I'll send it to War, why not? Ah, great, you're over here, so... I could send him toward this guy, the demon would, uh, in a magic thicket. Obviously, I don't want to be sending him anywhere near this guy. Though he's already in range, more or less, so... Let's finish off that guy. And that put him in an even worse position, but oh well. All right, you guys need to get over here. So there you go, over there. Send the trolls over here. I gotta upgrade these guys to the Paladins of Life if I want to, but I don't think those are specifically gonna be of much help because I don't, I don't think they have uh, the resistances I need them to have. So heal up these guys there. So yes, when I get the chance, I'm going to raise the land over here. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Just a little bit in killing those guys. So they destroyed that. He summon our uh, spirit wolves in his capital, I think, the Barbarian. One thing he's got going for him is that even though his weak units are weak, they're still strong. They're just survivable. Yep, here comes the gold dragon. Oh, I'm capable of taking a beating there a little bit. That's good to know. Ow. And now they're taking a beating over here. Ooh. Couple more guys to deal with. You know, I wonder if this guy's just appearing in here, perhaps. Like, this guy's appeared here, I think. Hurt that guy up a little bit. This guy looks to be pretty much immune to a lot of stuff, but Death Magic and Spear Magic he's weakest to, so... One attempt to do with him. My, my guy here, we'll move him all the way up over here, and that's maybe not the best place for him because there's a red dragon nest over there, but we can injure that guy a little bit. 
eliminate that guy. So we got two red dragon nests over here. Let's cast this and get it done. Yes, faster, faster casting speed, I think. That's what's that about. Hang on, where was I? We're going to raise the land. And I think we want greater land raising just to help me out the most. Get that ready. Alright, there's actually both demons over here. I think we're going to do with our paladin, we're just going to move her all the way over here and see what happens if I raise the land under her, if she comes up underneath the boats, or if she dies, or whatever. Hurt this guy a little bit more. A lot more, apparently. Center dwarves over here, I guess. That guy's not even feeling a dent, so to speak. We research a new spell. I can now get summon tree warden. Summons a demon wood. Those things, you know, we've already seen how powerful they are. They can mess stuff up. Uh, let's put a market over here. Bank there. And your library. Well, we need a mad trap in our stuff, I guess. So we get some of those on our way. Yes, you guys are. To head over there. Build cities for me. I guess Sophia knows that some of these guys are just regular fire elementals, so they're a little bit weaker. And that's not substantial. There's a great fire elemental there. And you guy. Need you a little bit more. You know a nice place for a city. We'll send you there to build your city, I guess, so we can get that immediately. We ready. Inflicts life magic. I wonder if this will work on this guy here if I use it. I guess it worked. That'll work for me. So he, he did some damage to that dragon there with uh, his life magic attack. Oh, it did a lot of damage. It's a little bit slow. Let's see, you... Let's send him here to attack the Earth Mantle. You know, with all this crap around this guy here, I don't want him basically in that mess, so. Let's send him over there. Out of the mess. You can make your way over there. And why not? We're going to send this guy over here, because you can at least do death magic to these guys, but they don't really are immune to. Never mind. These guys are completely worthless against those. Those those guys can take it at least. It's a new dare. Send you here, I guess.
Send that guy there for now. This guy can upgrade, so I guess we'll maybe do that. Ratman parrots. Yes, these guys are now parrots. Well, as mentors. But these guys are pirates. Squadrons of rat pirates, led by the Corsair, blah blah. He's basically a pirate. And I can upgrade him again to the Paladins of Life if I want to as well. Could do that, maybe I will. But for now, we're just going to make him a super upgraded uh, rat man. Which will take away my money for now. Put you over here for now. Oh, good, you guys have movement now. Go there for now. And I recruit a couple sellers. Very good. Yes, my priestess of a girl are making their way over. Uh, what to do with you guys? Well, you can make all the way over here, I guess, so we'll do that. And why not? We'll upgrade these guys a little bit, too. We'll need just a little bit more to get them fully upgraded. Yes, I don't see good things for the Barbarian. Oh, they finally sent a Damon Wood out to say hi. Those bulls of Hilly, though, they're pretty damn strong. I'll say that. Oh, those guys are taking a beating. They got pushed into a swamp. He attacks my sea there. Apparently, attacked those guys there somehow. Not particularly sure how he attacked those guys. Oh, there's a dragon over there. Hmm, what killed you? I guess it's like some sea creatures attacking that cell over there. Is what's happening, perhaps. And then he comes over and attacks my... Yeah. That's painful. I might just put the Doris thing on him. Hooray, I can now summon Demon Wood. Yes, Demon Wood. These guys here. Summonable. Uh, greater healing. Restores health to friendly units except undead in buildings. That's basically what you get if you don't go with a gorilla, more or less. Why don't we get lower lands? Let's go around with that a little bit. Let's see what happens when I do this then. So I cast this here. It's a boat on water! Well, that works, whatever. much damage to that guy and then there he goes bye bye he's out of the way 
Finally. And now I've got a nice little path to get over to this guy. I should build like a little bit of a uh, raised land over here too, I guess. This is a small one. Can I cast that again, perhaps? That's perfect. That'll make it a lot easier to kill this guy now. Because now all I have to do is basically send... You know, stuff over to attack him. Eh, I can do it next turn. Some dude there to be out of range. You guys can be upgraded a little bit more. Send these guys over here for now. And you guys. Uh, a bit tricky, but we'll try making them move in there. Getting resistance is probably a good idea. We'll put that there. Right there. And oh crap, I forgot about this guy. So he's a bit in trouble. But at least I got this guy in peace to build a city right there, so. We have founded a new city. Perfect, you now control more than 4% of the Holy Grounds. Basically, if I take one more, I think we'll basically win the game through Holy, Holy War victory, I guess. That's what you would call it. Uh, I could eliminate him, do a lot of damage to him, and him. Let's see here, I'm going to move this guy back. Let's kill this guy. Target two adjacent Texas and Cleves. That could be useful. You guys got root apparently. That kind of sucks. But we'll eliminate that guy to get him out of the way so he can't be an issue. I'll eliminate the dragon. The You'll just defend yourself. I can move these guys forward to do a little bit of damage, and that might be the best idea to do with them. And same with you guys, I guess. We're just going to wear this down very slowly, this guy here. These guys can get moved up. You guys... Let's see what this guy's got. He's basically like golden skills, like using resistance to everything, life magic, regeneration, re recon specialist, force march. He doesn't have the same... Uh, I guess the... Oh. Okay, so next... Basically this guy can fire in like, you know, lines. Okay, we're gonna put that guy there then. That puts him in range of everything, but whatever, he's, you know... Whatever, he's just more or less sacrificial anyway, so it's fine. We'll send you over here to heal up. You guys did heal up, which is nice, so I can send you around. There's apparently a five in over here. A couple swamps. And 
Now, I think we might actually start bringing around some of the R units over here since I'm so close to winning. So, we'll send like my Cutthroats down here to help out where they can. The Halberdiers can come down. And these guys too. So yeah, we're going to send everyone more or less to win this game at this point. No reason for me not to try and, you know, throw everything to win the game. I'm about to win the game. Oh good, you guys are almost over here. So you go there for now. And my catapult's nice and ready. I don't know, move it, make your way over here, you slow catapult. And you guys can... get here. That really hurt them to make an attack. So maybe I'll hold off in doing so. And this guy's now in the fray. I might send him over here actually. The reason I'm saying over here is just because there's space and because I can, you know, maybe put something in that swamp. And we'll just build another Ratman. Or not Ratman, but Gnome to go through the portal. More attacks, blah blah, they're attacking each other, they don't like each other. Back to his nest he went. But back to his eggs he went. And he's just gonna directly attack Corville apparently. Or my paladins. Well, they all died. Out to them. Let's make him defend enough to make him survive. I don't think it is. Yeah, he died. No more fat veteran. A new spell has been researched, my lord. Oh well, we researched Laurel Land. Volcano, area of effect, target plus the surrounding hexes, spawn a volcano and a target hex and lava fields around it. Alright, we'll get that. Hit this with this. And. Just hurt those guys a little bit. Alright, this guy needs to go down. Let the zombies do a little bit of damage. They can regenerate so you can be more effective that way. I actually uh, didn't do anything to him. I forgot. He's immune to death magic. Whoops. But whatever. You guys can get over here. You can do an attack. That, he's starting to get, um, I guess, flustered a little bit from all those attacks. Finally. Elves can go over here and attack. Attack again. Attack again, it's gone. Vanquished, finally. And we're just gonna do this now. I'll start saying my guys across the, the river. 
Bye bye. Why not? We'll race the land right there. Actually, let's uh, raise a little bit more land right there. Send you guys over here to attack. Make them go away. And we'll slowly raise our land toward over there, I guess. Why not? Get rid of that. There's actually space for a city up there if uh, he brings his settler, I guess, if he wants to. You can just get over there. Ah, yes, the rogues. Let's give you Pathfinder so you can move a little bit faster. Hey, these guys leveled up a little bit. It's very nice having passive experience. In a way. And I can now recruit Elven Sharpshooters. So she has an upgrade now. A little expensive, but there it is. Uh, over here. He's on the other way over there. My mage, what am I going to do with you? He might want to rest actually, he's taking a beating, so make him rest a little bit. I'll send you over there. You can rest up. Let's have this guy go over here and do a big cleave. On these guys. Ooh, nice. All gone. I wonder if I should actually take that out. That might be a smart idea. So that's gone. They take a little bit of damage. Bit more damage. And clear eyed and ready. You're just gonna heal up. We're just gonna send these guys here and they'll just do a light love tap to those guys. You guys let's move it over way here. Five N. Yes. We'll go for the portal. We'll go for the portal. They'll be going for the portal soon. Meteor Storm! That was fun to watch. Looks like they pieced each other finally. Your 
Excellency, someone has humbly requested your aid. I send this guy up here to finish you. Fire weapon chat. Didn't have that apparently. So now that Ness is out of the way. Uh, let's have you go here. Blast you a little bit. Blast you a little bit more. Blast him a little bit. Let's annihilate those guys. Our spell researched. Oh, vampiric weapon. That sounds like a cool idea. And someone's asked me to build the Temple of Grumbrog. We're going to completely and utterly refuse this, I think. And that's what basically happens if you refuse it. You just like get the negative reward. So Grumbrog won't like that, but. Whatever. Got eight pieces to each other. Stop, stop being hostile to each other. Pumpkin farm. Actually, we'll go over here and do the land raising stuff, so we'll get that out of the way. The Palons of Death go over here. And I don't know. Now like them. You go over here and now like them. They took damage because they're inside the uh, bad zone there. Do a little bit dash them, put you in the land. You can sit there, sit there, heal, sit there. Have you sit there instead, heal, and heal. Um, more mana. Why not? I realize mana is complete and utterly it's pointless to keep building up this point, but whatever. Miffy, barracks. Um, on building now, I guess, or why is this not working? That's the mad trap I built. I wonder why it's not. Oh, whatever. Build that there. You know, at some point, I just don't care anymore, right? Put you there. Someone, is hurt. Someone will be a hurting, yes. Let's send over a display because it looks like there's a clear path over here. Uh, same for you guys. You can go over there as well. Veterans. Send these guys up that way. You healed up very nice. That was not the place I wanted to put you then, but whatever. Send you this way. 
Do some damage to them. Apparently not a whole lot of damage to them. They're kind of resistant, apparently. Uh, let's select something else to cast. Like regular Shadow Bolt. They're immune to death magic. Um... Let's just do this instead, heal him up. Or can I not select a new spell after I selected one? Oh well, let's get it now. Sucks, but well. There's like the edge of the map up here, so... The outer worlds are like, they're big, but they're not too big. There are limits to the space. In you go. You go up there for now, I guess. You know, think about the catapult. Why am I still moving it? It's not going to make it to wherever it was going in time. So. We're going to say it's going to sit there. And let's just get this uh, sharpshooter ready. We'll upgrade him to actual sharpshooter. Give him a few blessings. Send him to portal. I guess that's it for him. Oh no, you attacked my undead paladins. Means of death. I could probably knock that out now. That'll hurt. If he sends up the airship, it's going to really hurt. And as is. Bye-bye. My caravel is finally sunk. Glug, 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 glug.